Hallo Leute, wir zur Folge von Doki Doki Blue Skies. In der letzten Folge haben wir die äh, ja, Beziehung wollten starten zwischen Seori und Eis, äh, uns eben halt, indem wir halt die Gefühle gestehen. Wir haben auch eine positive Reaktion bekommen, im Sinne von, dass sie auch Gefühl für uns hat. Jedoch hat das ein dunkles Geheimnis mit sich gebracht, nämlich leidet Seori unter Depressionen und will deswegen nicht zu äh, selbstsüchtig sein und halt denkt, ähm, findet in Art und Weise, dass sie es nicht verdient, dass sie wertlos ist und generell nicht gerade die beste Meinung von sich selbst. Und ja, wir haben danach äh, leider nicht gut reagiert im Moment, äh, einfach weil äh, die Situation extrem überraschend war und auch äh, emotional und Sachen gesagt, die wir nicht wollten und unseren äh, Ton äh, äh, erhöht und das war natürlich nicht so gut und haben dann danach unsere Mutter angerufen um Hilfe zu fragen Entschuldigung und ja und in jedem Fall jetzt sind wir am Tag danach und unsere Mutter hat uns auch empfohlen einfach Abstand zu halten ein bisschen damit sich die Sachen beruhigen kann also die ganze Situation und deswegen nehme ich mal das wahrscheinlich jetzt am Sonntag äh am Sonntag am Samstag jetzt und wahrscheinlich über das Wochenende einfach irgendwie Zeit alleine verbringt, vielleicht in eine der anderen Girls äh, reinlaufen oder irgendwas so also antreffen. Irgendwas äh, sowas wahrscheinlich dann. Aber ja, uh, man, I'm glad this is Saturday today. There would be no chance in hell that I'd be able to concentrate if today was school day. A variation keeps me playing over and over in my mind. Depression. Nasty sounding word. In some ways, quite foreign, I guess. I was kind of sheltered. Part is the I never knew any people with the condition. It was something I was of course aware of, but I had never paid any real thought to it. I mean, I knew what it was. Psychology has always been at least weirdly interesting to me, but I ne never really saw a re reason to look into it. And Sarah said that she's been depressed for most of her life. So I can't hel uh, help but wonder, when did it all develop? What caused it? Was she bullied? bullied? Or did a close friend of, uh, a friend of family member die? There's so many things I want to ask her right now. But as mom said, it's best to give Sarah some, uh, some to cool off. I'll give it a couple of days. Besides, I've got a lot of homeworks to be getting on with. Okay. Well, that's like quite out of the way first. Man, the end of the war really had huge effects on the world. Oh, yeah. Ich meine, der erste Weltkrieg, also, das war jetzt die, äh, Sa äh, Sakurai redet gerade, ähm, äh, ersten Weltkrieg. Wenn man so schaut, der erste Weltkrieg hat ja auch. Ich würde jetzt nicht das Wort automatisch benutzen, aber durch die, äh, äh, Konsequenzen, äh, dem ersten, vom ersten Weltkrieg hat sich doch der zweite gebildet. Zumal wegen der ganzen äh, mystischen äh, Situation in Deutschland. It's time for a break, I reckon. What to play, what to play. It really is a first world problem to have so many games available, but still not know what to play. Hmm. The colorful looking title catches my eye. Man, not even escapism from uh, video games is doing the trick. Perhaps I should go, to go for a walk instead. Being called uh, cooped out in stores probably isn't doing any favors for my health. Mom used to harbor uh, on, on about the importance of fresh air. I stand up and stretch, very rubbing my neck. Yeah, some fresh, fresh air wouldn't go amiss. So, at this point in the day, I had a park with weather quiet. Not as many people come to this, uh, this part of the park anyway. Which is a shame, because this part is arguably the prettiest thanks to the lake. Being the middle of November, there's a definite chill in the air, although I'm wrapped up warm so I can barely feel it. It's a comfortable lull in the air, especially after the overwhelming nature of last night. A science is perfect uh, as a perfect antidote, being theoreptic and calm. Oh, stimmt. Also, Nacht ist wirklich so beruhigend. Sure, I have to house to myself, but there's no sub uh, substitute for fresh cool air. Maybe my parents are white when they uh, kept up that healthy body, healthy mind mantra. As calm as the atmosphere is, it's not doing much for the whirlwind that is my mind. Looking bad, how could I have been so stupid? How did I miss all the science? Am I really that dense? Thinking about it, fairy tale poem makes so much sense now. Selflessness, the devotion to keeping others happy, regardless of her own mental state. Sense were all there, struggling to wake up on time, which explains why she was always late. And the nightmare. And when she finally told me her most painful secret, how did I respond? Or shouting at her making her cry. Great friend you are, Cosmo. No wonder she didn't even want to tell me in the first place. I was so pushy, so demanding, yet when she told me, instead of being imperfect, 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 
and understanding. I did the exact opposite. It wouldn't even surprise me if she didn't want to be friends anymore. Would she ever forgive me? I don't whether she would or not is a whole other question. Even if she did forgive me, what could I even do about her depression? The self -per uh, perception seems so cemented. Would I be making, uh, making things worse by getting involved? Or would I be able to help her? I don't know. I don't know. Being a normal teenage guy doesn't really afford me much sensibility. Even though it might sound a bit melodramatic, I can't help but feel like I barely even know Sarah anymore. How much of happiness is just a mask? It can't be all of it. Kazuma? Yuri's presence, yeah, okay. Ich habe schon gar entweder Natsuki oder Yuri, aber angesichts, dass mir von der Yuri heute wissen, dass das hier äh, einer von ihren Spots äh, ist, äh, habe ich mir auch eher gedacht. Oder vielleicht noch, weil wir schon äh, durch die anderen Routen äh, Yuri und äh, Natsuki hier hatten, hätte ich vielleicht auch sogar Monika noch erwartet. Also eigentlich basically all, äh, alle drei äh, Girls. Wegen so laut zu meinem Fatz, I didn't even notice Yuri's presence. Oh, hey Yuri. Didn't see you there. I'm not bothering you, am I? Look, well, deep in thought. Oh, you're fine. Uh, it would be nice to have some company, actually. She smiles shyly and takes the seat next to me. The company silence is not awkward in the slightest, which surprises me. Then again, Yumi is no stranger to deep thoughts herself, and she's definitely used to being reflective and quiet. I didn't expect to see you here. They didn't expect me to come to a quiet park when it's getting dark, especially in the middle of the winter, huh? Not really, no. The dark and cold combined tend to put most people off. If you don't mind me asking, what brings you here? Oh, well... There's a lot on my mind, and I figured some fresh air would do me so uh, it would do me uh, good, you know? Oh, I see. Perhaps you're more like a, uh, alike than I first imagined. Whenever I talk about something, I always find quiet period of reflection, and even it can be really helpful. Something about the slowness of the night. It's much easier to think when you're in an environment such as this one. Yeah, it is. Especially when you're feeling overwhelmed. It helps just to take a step back and breathe. Ja, es ist auch schade, dass ich das nicht mehr so wirklich kann machen, weil Dings, äh, ich habe zwar ein bisschen Natur hier rumher, wo ich äh, wohne, aber, aber auch zuvor, äh, zuvor, wo ich gewohnt habe, ich direkt einen äh, Wald hinter mir. Das war so schön. Ja, hier habe ich so Natur direkt, aber es ist halt nicht direkt zum Beispiel ein äh, Wald äh, hier. Also wirklich so direkt bei der Haustür, basically. I actually know this park for a long as I can remember. My parents used to take Siri and I here all the time. Come with this memories without the years. That sounds wonderful, Kazuma. To be able to share such a happy time, uh, ta share such happy times with someone as you both grew up. Although I'm curious, given how much time you two uh, seem to spend time with another, I would have thought they would be with you now. I looked down momentarily, poking at a trick from my shoe. Oh well, we kind of had a fight. Oh, that comes as a quite a surprise, given how close you two seem to be. Then again, I suppose it's inevitable that fights that occur between people. No matter that I'm medics. Use that feeling with her. Not that I mean to pry, but I, uh, may I ask you why you had a fight in the first place? I agree with that supply. As much as I enjoy talking to you and appreciate her company here, there's no way I can really see a serious secret to her. It's not that I w don't want to tell you, and it's nothing personal, I just. I understand it completely, Kazuma. I suppose it was a rather personal question. She just told me something really quiet and I... A terrible familiar, uh, familiar feeling of shame bubbles up whenever I recount how I reacted to her confession. I didn't take it well and I said some really stupid stuff. I got angry at her and it shouted at her. I mean, I'm an awful friend. I need four words, burying my friend... Uh, burying my... Hindsight, right? Burying my face in my hands. There's an awkward, heavy silence for a few moments. Kazuma? I know that I haven't known you for as long as Yoya has, but please believe me when I say you're not an awful friend. I don't know what was said between you two, but everyone since th says things they don't mean during arguments, especially when tensions are running high. That's something my parents once told me, and it's and it's it really is true. If you take my argument with Natsuki back in September, in the heat of the moment I said some rather hurtful things. However, I did actually I didn't actually mean them. I'm fairly confident that Natsuki feels the same way too. Please don't be too hard on yourself. I can tell that Sarah means a lot to you. You have a so patient and kind with her. I, if I may be so bold to say. Perhaps you don't realize it, but you do a lot for her. Little things such as walking to school with her in the mornings and walking home in the afternoons. 
Most importantly, whatever she's feeling sad, you really take it upon yourself to find what's wrong so you can comfort her. You can all see that you can, consider uh, and consideration for her shines like a be beacon. Yeah, that's all well and good and all, but I still hurt her really badly. Friends always hurt each other, Cosma. It's just an unfortunate reality of being human. But what I can gather, she isn't someone who could hold a grudge. So what of issue there is between you guys? I'm confident you'll be able to sort it out. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound presumptuous or anything. Uh, you've not been presumptuous in this latest series. Your insight has been really refreshing. I still feel bad, but you made me realize that perhaps things aren't as bleak as they seem. So thank you. Seriously, it means a lot. You, uh, you're a really good friend. Oh, well, um, thank you, Kazuma. I'm glad I was able to help. I can't help but grin. Your shyness has always been endearing, especially as it clashes against an intel intellig intelligent, mature outlook on oh so much. Anyway, could I ask you the same question? What brings you here? Oh, uh, well... It's okay, you don't have to disclose anything, I won't why. But just know if that you ever need someone to talk, I'm here. And so are the other girls, okay? I remember how horrible these people during the festival is all to you, and I'd hate to think that you were suffering in silence or anything like that. Oh, Cosma, Julia, are kind. I really, very appreciate your words, and I'm very glad that Siri told you about our club. I know I said it back in September, but I, but honestly, I say it again. I'm just grateful that you guys are accepted me with open arms. You didn't judge me because I was a po I wasn't a poet, nor did you ever laugh at how bad my poems were. I knew they weren't particularly to your taste, but just still give you good advice and be feedback. <gasps> so, <laughs> well, I believe that everyone should be included. No one deserves to be an outcast, irrespective of their hobbies, interests of their writing, writing ability. I just wish others would be accepting and inclusive of those with interests that go against their norm. She's nervously picking at her sleeves, almost pulling them up uh, over her hands. Well, for what it's worth, I think your interest in horror and taste in literature and poetry is pretty cool, Yuri. Okay, scheint Yuri hatte vielleicht Dings. An emotional moment hat sie wahrscheinlich äh, selbst verletzt. Und jetzt, um runterzukommen, hier hingekommen? Schreib mal so. It makes for a nice change of discussion and gives you interesting stuff to talk about. Like when you discussed Frankenstein's monster with me at lunchtime. I never really gave it much thought, but after you had uh, that talk with me, it helped me realize that we shouldn't just take stuff at face value. Oh, and your poems are awesome. I hope that one day I'll be able to write to, you, uh, write to your level. That really means a lot. I'm glad you have such an open mind, Cosmo. In this day and age, you find a mind so free of prejudice and misconception. Really a breath of fresh air, thank you. Anyway, I don't mean to cut sh short a discussion, but unfortunately, I have a lot of homework to be getting on with. Oh, yeah, me too. Procrastination can only get you so far, eh? Catch you later, Yui. Hope everything gets better. And you, Kazuma. We've all, uh, wave, we both part, uh, depart. Stars? That's us with that. Okay. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Sie will jetzt Sonntag, sie will jetzt Montag, sie will vielleicht sogar noch später in der Woche, who knows. Ich würde aber sagen, die Folge ist noch nicht, glaube ich, lang genug. Ah, meine Ohren! Ja, wir könnten die Folge hier beenden, aber komm, wir machen eine etwas längere Folge. <lacht> ne, warte, ich muss mal noch diesen Ding ins, äh, entblackt. Okay, komm, wir machen weiter. Die Folge ist noch etwas kurz. So, beep, beep, beep. Another day at school. And this is mid November now, so the Christmas break isn't too far off. After finishing my morning route, I head outside, tently waiting for Sayori. Yuri's words were helpful, but I was naive to think that she, uh, things would just go back to normal. Okay, das ist nun, wir sind am Montag jetzt angekommen. There's no sign of Sayori, and I feel like texting her off the table. With a sigh, I make the journey to school alone. Knowing about the in, uh, interwar years should have uh, been, uh, by all means, be interesting. Even if Sakurai's enthusiasm and Hunyo injected into the lessons, I still can't find myself enthusiastic about the topics he's discussing. Aside my best efforts to remain occupied over the weekend, the worry we have for Sayori was always there, looking at the back of my mind. I hate this silence. Not being able to talk to someone you really want to talk is crushing. Ah, Kazuma. I don't suppose you'd be able to answer that question. Huh? Please don't tell me that I'm such a boring teacher that you can't even pay attention. If I got out that I was spending my students at a store, I get fired on the spot. Although I'll probably do well in the hypnosis business. 
There's a light smothering of laughter. He's still looking at me, especially, so I force a grin on my face. Ah, sorry, so I didn't, didn't understand the question. Could you repeat it? He does so, and I answer. I'm not approving, although there's traces of concern in his features. There's a fluorescent rags on him with what feels like a snail space. Er wird uns so etwas so uh, nach der Stunde halten. It was supposed to be taking notes from, now, uh, from our old textbook and answering the question, but my mind has been on autopilot ever since I woke up this morning. But look, Hans, the progress I've made has been pretty mediocre. Everything okay, Kazuma? He's keeping a voice low and quiet, qu uh, crouching next to me. Don't quite seem yourself today. Pardon me if that's an incorrect assessment. He motions towards my notes. We are normally ahead of the game when it comes to classwork. Not that I mind too much, everyone's allowed to slack now and again, right? Chuckles, but I barely even respond. Yeah, I'm good, sir. Sorry, just had a very long weekend. Might as well, uh, might as well attempt the Sabbath humor. And by long weekend, no, I don't mean staying up late playing video games. That's a shame. Let's cut off your guns are the best ones. Hey, just do your best for now. You got a good grasp on the top six, so don't worry about it too much for now. Just, just, bleh. just make sure you know the material for the December exams. Got it, sir. Thank you. Phew. I was expecting some kind of stern telling off about my lack of progress. Well, it's about to bring everyone. We call it here. As I'm making my way outside, I spotted for me a, wh a white bow. Hey, Kazuma. How about you head to lunch, hmm? Yeah. I'm really sorry, but I won't be coming to the club today. She raises an eyebrow. Oh? Why's that? Being totally honest with you, I'm really just not in the mood for it. There's just some stuff I need to sort out, and if I came, I don't think I'd be very good company anyway. She nods, but it's hard to read the expression on her face. Okay, that's understandable. By the way, you haven't seen Siri around, have you? She didn't come to school today. Do you know why? Funny she should ask it. No clue, Zoe. Hmm, strange. Well, I hope you sort out whatever it's that's bugging you soon. Thanks, uh, sorry once again for baiting. It's okay, I'll be a quiet session today. I guess with that, uh, with, with what, with the three of us. I'll be, it will be interesting to see what it's like. Anyway, I gotta go. See you around, Kazuma. See ya. Why do I get the nagging feel that she's judging me for something? Oh well. Much like the walk to school, the return journey, uh, the return journey feels equally as empty. With another pang of guilt, I remember all of the little GBs I used to fire her way, fire, fire her way about le being lazy and unable to get off bed. Called it. Ich hab's schon vor paar Fahrt, äh, Parts, so also in verschiedenen Parts erwähnt. Wir werden äh, als Hauptcharakter bereuen, diese Sachen äh, zum spät aufstehen äh, gesagt zu haben. Und da ist die Zeile. Why is that our brains are so good at reminding us of times we said or did things we really regret? Ach, ich weiß auch nicht. Das Negative zieht unsere Gehirn einfach an. A tiny voice of a reason within tells me that I had no way of knowing why she struggled to get up on time. I mean, it's not like I sat out to hurt her with my jokes. The kind of playful banter just characterizes our friendship. I just wish I could believe that that tiny voice of a reason a little more. Entschuldigt. Entschuldigt. As I make my way to my house, I notice the uh, Fika sitting by my doorway. Oh? I roll my eyes and suppress the, uh, uh, suppress the urge to groan. I'm really not in any mood to deal with some religious nodder trying to get me to believe in God. Wait, hang on. That's Siri. Now I'm sure she's not. Siri? Head shoots up at the sound of my voice. What are you doing here? Um, The set of uh, in front of me is earlier than I expected. Neither of us know what to say. The aftermath of previous encounters still lingers in the air. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh my god, I can't hear with alt gr can I skip. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Thanks. After dumping my school stuff down, I'm done to uh, turn to face her. Of course, this doesn't despite this is a bit. There's so much I want to say, but I don't even know where to start. I'm really sorry, Kazuma. Tears immediately fill Siri's eyes, and the powerful desire to embrace her hits me once more. I really shouldn't have kicked you out like that. It's horrible to you, keeping you in the dark. I'm just so scared, the whole thing is just so confusing. No, sir, it's me who should be apologizing. I'm so sorry for being so pushy, for shouting at you and being, and for being such a lousy friend. I've been regretting how I acted on fire day ever since. Please don't hate me. Sir so tumble, tumbles in my arms, sobbing without restraint. I could never hate you, silly. You're my best friend. 
I was so scared that after a fight that had pushed you away. I can feel my heart break as she sobs and clings to me. Instinctively, I wrap my arms around her and hold her close. So you're so silly sometimes, you know that? You could never push me away, I'm your best friend. Although recently I've been wondering if I deserve to be. Huh? Why? I shouted at you, I made you cry. A few of my own tears have started to leak. With concern ear etched all over, my f over her face, she leans forward and carefully brushes a tear away. It's the last thing I want to do, and I hate myself for it. Cosmo, it's okay. Looking back, I really can't blame you. It must have been so frustrating from your perspective. I just w want things to get back to normal. Please, can we just put this all behind us? It's like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders just by hearing these words. Of course we can. And here was me thinking you didn't want to be friends anymore. I could never stay mad at you, Kazuma. You mean too much to me. Can we good that we're uh, both a bunch of clowns and we're as bad as each other? So it gives a very wee smile. She clings to me a little harder. <laughs> that, that, that sounds fair. Oh, to hear that laugh again. I'm always be here for you, okay? Even though I can be a dunce idiot at the best of times. That will never change. She looks up, her eyes swimming with tears. Even with tear marks all down her face and her tousled hair, she still looks absolutely beautiful. Really mean that? I gently form away one of her tears. Of course I do. She bursts once more into my chest. Feels incredi incredible intimate to be able to hold her in this state of vulnerability. So that's why you waited outside my house. Yeah, I really wanted to see you, but... I couldn't face to school today, and I wasn't sure even if you wanted to see me. Her voice is slightly muffled as, he, as, talk, uh, as she talks into my shirt. It's kind of funny when you think about it. We both thought that the other person didn't want to see us, when we both really wanted to see each other. Ah, oh, Seori. What are we like? She goes on my chest, as at uh, such, such a close distance I can actually feel the vibration from my laughter. You told me that she didn't think you were that kind of uh, person to stay angry for long. She looks up. Yui? Yeah, I bumped into her over the weekend while I was at the park, needed some fresh air at night. Don't worry, I didn't really much, I just told her we had a fight. She was really empathetic and understanding. <laughs> well, that sounds like her. She's such a dependable friend. Anyway, I guess she's right. I hate conflict and I don't like staying angry at people. But uh, that's super convenient for an idiot like me, isn't it? <laughs> I was going to try and find you earlier, but I thought I should give it a little bit of time first. Oh uh, well, at least we're here now. I'm so glad you came to find me. And I'm gl uh, glad we made up. Oops, I got your shirt super wet. Sorry about that. All good. Not the first time you spilled something on me uh, now, is it? Oh, uh, you mean at one time with... Hold up, sir. One time? Okay, okay, you made your point, meanie. You both share a laugh, and my, my god, does that laugh feel good to hear. Just like that, all of the tension and stress I've been carrying over the past few days has lessened. It's like I can finally breathe again. Anyway, look, sir, I had some time to think about what you told me on Friday. I'll be honest with you, I don't understand this depression at all, and I can't imagine what you're going through. But what I do know is that I'll do my best to be there for you, even if it's just as a friend. I know you said me like uh, I know you said me like me too, but you weren't sure about your feelings. So we can go at whatever your pace you want to go at, if you even want to go at all. It's really frustrating because I do like you, Cosmo. I really do. I just... She bites her lip anxiously. I hate to hate to drag you down. To get you involved with my mess. I know you see it like that, Siri, but I see it completely differently. No one is forcing me to make my decision. I'm chosen to get involved because I want to. Because I like you. And I don't see you as a burn at all. Think of all the times that you helped me feel better or the other girls in the club. It's so good at keeping our one spirit side, picking up fights, restoring the peace. It would be really so warm for me to give something back to you. I know you don't see it, but to me, you're worth an awful lot, and I care ab about you so much. But Kazuma, there are so many other things, other people out there, who are more worthy of your time. None of these people are you, though. No one else on this planet could ever replace you. I grew up with you, Zoe, and you're my best friend for a reason. All of the happy memories that we shared, the jokes, the stories, the adventures. I share them with you, and only you. Such a big reason as to why childhood was so happy. Really? Of course. We used to see each other like every day. Our parents used to say we were inseparable. And here we are now. Even after years apart, we got along and nothing ever happened. 
So believe me when I say that you're very special to me and you got a heart of gold, whether you whether you can see it or not. Oh, Cosma. She starts to sniffle again. No one ever has said something like that to me before. Well, I'm glad to be the first. I'm still unsure and it's still really confusing, but... The hugs are really comforting. They may feel like everything might be okay if just for a few moments. I know what you want me to say, but... I don't know. I still feel like I'm being selfish. And I thought you liking me back would make the rain clouds in my head go away. It's like they are a little way of sunshine now, but it's still raining. Even though mom told me that depression has no quick fix, serious foot still disappoint me. Mom did say it wouldn't be easy. Guess I'm really starting to find out how just so difficult this can be. That's okay, Siri. I guess it was naive for me to think I could just come and fix everything. It would be nice, though. I guess we just start by taking everything really slowly. Like, could we not jump going into our official dates or telling everyone we're together just yet? Of course, whatever place you want to go, like I said. I'm not making the wrong choice, though, am I? Just please me if I'm being a burden, and I won't hold it against you if you don't want to be with me anymore. You don't have to worry about that at all, trust me. Although, as much as I like you, I don't want you going through with this just because it, it's what I want. No, I kinda want it to. Kinda? I do want it, I just, I can't shake off the feeling that I'm not with you at the time. And even though what you said just now really helped, being worthless is something I've felt for a long time. It's hard to shake off the feeling. But being with you, the rain clouds don't feel as bad. It'll be okay, Sayori. I just know it will. I'll see you through the storm and I'll be your umbrella. That's actually one of the sweetest things you ever said to me. I like too. Looks like the literature club is really popping off on you. I know, right? I'll be definitely the next Shakespeare, just you wait. Anyway, I guess it's for, uh, it's for the best that we'll be taking things slow because this, uh, because this, um, December exams are coming up. As much as I don't really want to, we should probably both be focusing on those. Yeah, you're right. But once they're over, I think I hand locking your fingers with mine. Well, that's why I see it was here. Yeah, that's for Siri. We'll just have to wait and won't we? Anyway, speaking of work, I should probably get started with revision. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. I hold my arms out and we embrace it once more. I ought to be able to hold her close to me, inhaling her scent, playing with a strand of her hair. It's heaven. Before I can stop myself, I plant a soft kiss on her forehead and break free, closing the door for, before my mind catches up to my lips. I swear I can hear a soft giggle as she closes the door behind her. Wie süß. <laughs> Wie gesagt, also ich glaube, von all den Beziehungen, die wir erleben werden, wird Dings, die Beziehung, glaube ich, die süßeste von allen und auch die kitschigste. Aber ich habe absolut nichts dagegen, weil kitschig liebe ich. Äh. Aber, gerade deswegen wird doch wahrscheinlich an manchen Stellen, wo es dann nicht so gut ausgeht, es extrem zu tun. Aber das ist eine andere Sache. Auf jeden Fall haben wir damit die Situation besser geregelt jetzt. Es hat sich alles beruhigt. Der Sturm hat sich ein bisschen beruhigt und wir sind jetzt zusammen, aber noch nicht offiziell und gehen es halt ganz langsam einfach an. Angesichts, dass es halt Theorie seine Zeit braucht, was verständlich ist und schon dann eben, wie das sich über die nächsten Folgen äh, so also entwickelt. Und ja, ich bin mal sehr gespannt, was uns noch alles so erwartet. Ich würde auf jeden Fall sagen, dann danke fürs Zuschauen und bis dann bei der nächsten Folge, wo wir dann mit Theorie... Wahrscheinlich irgendwas unternehmen, ich weiß nicht. Einfach vielleicht noch für die Teste lernen oder so. I don't know. Keine Ahnung. Oder vielleicht haben wir in der nächsten Folge die Vorbereitung für die Weihnachtsfeier. Wer weiß. Auf jeden Fall, danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis dann beim nächsten Mal. Tschüss.